Hello there people who are watching this. Yes, exactly you. You are watching the call of the game for today. Which is quite obvious. It's me, Ricardo, and I'm commentating today since I've got a brand new headset. But that's not the not the real thing today. Because today we have a 4v4 10pg 5k game of me, all of it, Basarab and Demon Producer versus Valle, Beta, Epam, I mean, Coldy and Coswar. Mm, that's probably going to be a quite decent battle since the enemy team is uh, mainly compared of decent players, which is quite obvious. Because I just said that, but I'm uh, off the target again. So let's see how we are going to do. If we're going to lose or win, it's still in the future. So just as classical, I'm going to go for my unstoppable Scotsman tactic again. While Scholar is going for his tea addicted Englishman tactic again, which is also quite effective. At least most of the time. Right now there isn't a lot to talk about, but it's obvious, it's still in the peace time. But when we are getting out of the peace time, there will be lots of stuff going down as usual. So that's the time when I'm really going to, to start off talking. And I've already forgotten my food upgrade in the mill, that's fantastic. So I'm not having a great start at all. And apparently Call of it forgot his, his, his first mill upgrade as well, so welcome in the club. Oh, apparently he meant a wood upgrade, which is not important at all for me. It's time that I go for the second food upgrade. And apparently I still need an academy for that. I should have considered that first. Yeah, I'm not having the greatest game of all. I'm still not having my gold mines upgraded, which I usually do at this time. So, I'm going to need potential help from Diamond. 
who is Sweden. And he agrees. I hope that he keeps his uh, promise, if you can call it like that. He just said okay, so I'm, so I'm taking that as a promise. Because an okay, just an okay is not a proper answer to me. It's just a statement. And when people say a statement, I'm going to take the closest possible, possible solution to this statement. And the capture is off, which is obvious, since this is a classic Call of It game. This is Call of It just said. Old things never get old, because they are already old. That's just like Call of It. And the end of the peace time is closing in. I hope I can still get my musketeer upgrades. For some reason I seem to just cannot click properly, which is probably due to my mouse having fallen down a few days ago and since then it doesn't work properly anymore. But the peace time has ended now and action is going to kick off soon. And I'm not prepared at all, so that's pretty bad. <laughs> At least my economy is going good, so that's a little bit of a, of a, well, good thing for me. And I'm facing a, a Hungary, so I'm better going to stay defensive for a while now. Until I get my second fire rate upgrade, which is vital for me, because the Scotland's Scotland doesn't cannot spam like the other nations. It has a longer building time, so you have to be either very smart about it, or you have to wait a bit. And I'm going to do the ladder. And I need help. <laughs> because the enemy Beppa is closing in, and I'm not prepared at all. <laughs> so that's going to be a bit, a little bit. Uh, um, ungood, not good. I forgot the proper word. And he's bringing some archers, which is very, very bad for me. Uh, and my ally isn't helping me. So I'm pretty much put on my own and cooked meat basically. And I better take some vacation at Colorfit Zone. Since I'm go getting wrecked here. Because my ally isn't helping me properly, he just came away too late. And uh, my economy is basically wrecked by right now. I hope that I still can trade some resources to at least survive for the way to color.
at least I get my full food up right now. <laughs> Which is not going to help me a lot since I lost everything else. <laughs> but it's going to help me to uh, rebuild a little bit. A little holdout base and cut off its home and uh, some paras that move here and there. To eat cut off its economy. <laughs> nah, I'm just joking. I'm probably going to go for the Scottish Minuteman tactic again. Color, that's a dumb idea, and you know that. Don't do it. If you charge that hill, I betcha I'm gonna bet 5,000 euro, which is zero pound to be exact, uh, that you lose this. Who on earth is Eric? And you are a madman. You're charging this hill and there's reinforcements coming in. I can't watch, I got to watch my economy. Or else I'm gonna die. And my target is not to die. And your magic is basically just getting tea into yourself. And lots and lots of it. Uh, apparently your Soviet hordes have striked back. That's the magic of communism, not of your skill. And apparently there's a little raid going into Bazarab. The Grenadiers and Hatschduk and uh, you better... You better hurry up, uh, otherwise it's going to lose quite a bit of buildings. And he's retreating. I don't know why, because this little army could have easily squashed that and inflicted heavy losses. But apparently Diamond is going to die as well for his lack of helping me. Sweet revenge. <laughs> Which is actually not helpful, because that's my ally. Yeah, luckily they still let my market live and the barrack down there which I cannot use because it's unpractical so I'm going to delete this one and who on earth is Eric? It's time for the three barracks of the Scottish Minutemen again. The greatest fighters of this age. Don't mind me, I'm dead. You don't need to care about me anymore. I'm just a little bit of trash face. Without any, without any minds. Uh, I hope he doesn't notice my minds. Because that's the last piece of my economy there. You must never bank on someone's skills. Especially because Valor is our enemy. 
You should have banged on Basarab skills. <laughs> Why do you bang on the enemy to win and uh, complain when he does? <laughs> just, just, just cover. Here come the Scotsmen, ready to fight, and I'm going to take that little round ship formation. You can poke up on the big arm and your pepper. Or you just fight with me. That's okay too. I'm going to help us out up. Ah, uh, I can never do own own operations. I always have to listen to the Englishman. That's horrible. <laughs> Scottish line has, has built up and it's going to fight the invaders. Victory is soon to be ours. And he doesn't even know that I'm not staying ground yet. Which I suppose is good. Whilst I do not get my archers. And he's going around the defenses. That's not fair, this is not the marginal line. You can't just go around it. Uh, you know that there's a big blob of blue uh, below you, and uh, I'm I'm pretty I'm motivated to fight the blob off. Or at least shoot it a little bit until I have to fall back. All right, now is the good time to fall back. <laughs> Hey, don't, don't mine all my food. I have to have something myself as well. Turn around and shoot, you coward. You can shoot that father. Of course. Uh, just, uh, just don't listen to me. <laughs> the Spanish are not going to be oppressed again. Just like that we have won. What was the problem now? <laughs> Why did we have to fall back? Oh dear, that's a bit of nastiness there. I don't like that. Okay, I'm going to keep the northern guard. While you keep the uh, eastern guard, the Ostfront.
Oh dear. This is not going well. <laughs> I expected this to go well, not to go extremely horrible. <laughs> There's a raid color. Go and fight it off. What are they doing? I don't understand it. And I just noticed that I completely forgot to upgrade my musketeers fully. So that's going to be immediately done. And they destroy my last they destroy my last poor mines. That's not very nice. But I'm going to peasant defense myself. And my mines. My market has been killed, so I hope that I will win this battle, because otherwise I don't have ammo. I will need a V1 rocket now. But that's the new only color that understands anyway. Right. Arrow hail into the grenadiers. So that they may never destroy our buildings. They may take our buildings or take our men, but they will never take our freedom. Uh, what mines to rebuild? I don't know what mines you might, you, you, you're supposed to mean. Because all the mines are owned by you. Um, there's enemies, and they are surely having balloons soon. Oh, talking about the balloon, I'm going to get that soon. Right now, too. Okay. Okay, Mr. 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 I want a balloon. And I don't want to cross their enemy lines. That's suicide to be honest. And I don't exactly plan on losing my peasants. For a, for a thing that has no reason. <laughs> Instead I'm going to upgrade my archers. That's a way safer option. Oh dear, okay, I'm going to try it if you'll be, if you'll be silent then. <laughs> I line further back, but I'm already furthest back as possible. Oh, except for that one. I'm going to send a little delegation of my men there. So, I mean, basically all. I don't want him to raid my ass, so I'm going to send a delegation of men there. And I also don't want to lose my, my, my food economy, so I'm going to keep them, them as well. Oh, 
with my peasants again, there are they. And there's a ton of brown shears in my way. going to go there. There's too many enemies in the way. They're going to see me 100% since there are already some archers po posted there. I'm fine with my one iron mine and my one gold mine there. And I forgot to use my, my diplomatic center. Why don't you tell me that? I could use my archers to skirmish them, but uh, or to skirmish them. Uh, I'm too tired to speak, but I don't want to. There's too many, and uh, well, considering the fact that you're so far back, they are going to dragoon me. That was a fat bunch of arrows into the high stroop. Oh, oh, I missed that big massacre there. That's not fair. I wanted to see that. Hmm. I would almost go as far and call this Four Nations Fortress Verdun, but uh, I think it's way worse than that for them. So this is going to be a bit of a stalemate for now, but I, I don't think that we are going to pull up very well here. But it's still worth to fight for the end. It is always.
So this unbreakable line of God's men will, will hold through to the end of time. Except for me not having any population limit anymore. So I need to get houses wherever I can stuff them into. So that means I'm going to build inside of Colorfit's army. That's a nice idea. And Colorfit says foe for the big fight. And uh, the big blue returns. Uh, escapes him. Meanwhile, Cody has gotten his Scala Musketeer. Or. Uh, uh, Sakeli. It's a weird thing to speak because I cannot speak Hungarian. But at least I'm trying to. There are a lot of people that don't even try to speak it because they're certain they can't speak it, but if it would just try, that would make it so much better. But anyway, the big battle has still occurred. Peppa and Colorfoot and the uh, Basana and the mob producer are fighting. Meanwhile there's a little a little gang of Coldies, Bowmen and Rangers pushing into the side, which are going to distract the mustard yes. Which isn't going to be a big effect, I think, because Pepper's army has already collapsed. And they are trying to attack me with their hussars, which is proving ineffective. I've got so many musketeers on your bunch there. And apparently Kola doesn't want to go for the hill again. That's a... Uh, quite a... quite a... well, I forgot the word. It's quite a surprise then. Because usually color, usually color for the last go for the hill, especially if it's heavily guarded. Meanwhile, I'm going to to harass some of the enemies that are right next to the hill, above my my little holdout base with my archers. It's mostly just mercenary grenadiers, so it's going to be quite easy to kill them. To be exact, it's going to be a one shot on my archer. And actually, I'm going to go with everything. Because no risk, no fun, right? And I like fun, especially if it's on the cost of my enemies. Which it is mostly. So let's do this. And my men have disorganized, so that's a bit, little bit of trash. I have to charge in full. And can't control my units like an organized bunch of Scotsmen. But my archers are going to do the job quite easily, actually. Uh, well, why, am I, why aren't my guns shooting? I ordered you to go and shoot. This is a disaster. Now they are going from the side. But the men won't... The men won't surrender. And for some... This is shit. Why didn't they shoot? I told them to go and shoot. Not to walk. But my archers are quite tanky, so I'm going to hold them off for a while now. To shoot them with our musketeers on a very close range, which is probably not going to do anything, but uh, it's still worth a try, right? More reinforcements for the fight. It must not be lost. And we cannot win this big. 
right, so I'm going to retreat my men a bit, and they're still not, not listening to my commands. This was a military disaster. I have lost so many men there. This is probably the worst battle I've ever fought in my Scottish history. And apparently pe people try to use the World Wide Web in game, but sometimes they just, just they, they they just so they should just notice that they have to use the browser for this, not Cossacks. Like but I'm sure somebody's going to tell them in time. Back, back, back. Oh, and I see why. It's the big, it's a big Napoleon. Napoleon Bonaparte's army. Apparently, because it's just a bunch of horsemen with armor. So they are trying to fight the dog. I wish them good luck because I have to watch a for the two people that could just steamroll me. Which they are apparently going to as well. Well, that's... that's good. Uh, that's perfect. <laughs> At least I still have my archers that are loyal to me. And I go to fight to the last man. And I cannot tag my archers anymore. And call up, but it, it would be nice if you could move your fodder a bit forward there, please. Because there's a bunch of fossas that are murdering me. Apparently I have to use the Volkssturm again. I hope they are, these uh, 18th pikemen are not upgraded from Cross War. Otherwise I'm going to stand not a good chance. And it seems like they have been upgraded, so that's uh, pretty much a game over for me then. Let's try to blow up things strategically so the enemy cannot pass or gets blown up. Which is probably not going to work, but it's still worth a shot. going to use my diplomatic center as well. <laughs> and I shall not surrender. The enemy is pushing into us and we are we are done. We are cooked meat, we are hacked meat. Well At least we have had, we have had some fun. I think it's time that we use the big bad new part of it. Shall we use the big bad new on them? So let's use the big bad new. Maybe they are going to surrender it. Oh, we have to do it twice. But I, uh, I doubt that they are both Japan. Then that the enemy is Japan. That they just surrender the two nukes. Don't get triggered by it. I like humor. And most of my humor is quite uh, special. 
So we killed quite a few of their men with that big bad nuke attack. And we lost, but uh, that's obvious. Because we just deleted all our stuff. <laughs> anyway. So that's signs of the game for today. If you would like to hear more of my commentary in uh, in, in uh, such normal games instead of streams and streams, of course, are uh, of course as well. You can just leave a comment and a like, and uh, we are going to see next game. See ya.